Dear students, in this chapter algebraic expressions, we have already learnt about basics of algebra and in the last video we have discussed about addition operation on algebraic expression that is monomial expression. So today we will learn how to apply this addition operation on binomial expression. So let's get started. So students, whenever we start the addition of binomial as well as trinomial expression, so we follow some specific steps for adding the binomial as well as trinomial expression. So here are some steps that we will follow for solving our sums. So we will read first step that is arrange the given expression vertically. Number two, write like terms exactly below the other. And number three is apply the rule of the addition. Clear? So students, let's take an example to understand how we will follow all these steps and how we will apply these steps to add this statement, right? So first of all, read the statement, add the following expression that is 2a plus 5b and 3a plus 8b. Now, which type of expression is this? Yes, you know. Yes, this is binomial expression. Why by binomial? Here by means what? Two. So that means two terms are there. So whenever two terms are there in an expression, that expression will be called a binomial expression. Right? So here two binomial expressions are given to us. Right? So we here we will add all these two expressions and by Following all these three steps, we will get our answer. So, let's get started. Here, we will write the first expression that is 2a plus 5b. With 2, no sign is there. That means plus sign you will put here. Next expression, you will just write exactly below the like terms. For example, here 2a is here, right? So, that means this 3a, you will write exactly below the 2a because these two are the like terms. So, we will write the like terms one another or under the terms right next is 5b and here 8b so we will write plus 8b just below under the 5b term because these both are the like terms right now the next step is to add them how we will add them now you can see that here plus 5b and here plus 8b now integers rule we have already done in the junior classes as well as we have done the integer rules in the last video when we were adding the monomial expressions right so here plus 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 mean what plus plus sign of plus add the numbers so here you can see that i have taken a partition line and i'm doing all rough work over here right so here you will write plus 5 plus 8 only numeric you will write here not the variables right so here plus 5 plus 8 means plus plus sign of plus add the number so here plus 5 plus 8 will give plus 13 so here you will write here plus 13 b right but here again with 3 no sign that means plus sign is there so here plus 2 plus 3 so you will write here plus 2 plus 3 means plus 5 why plus 5 because plus plus sign of plus add the number so here 2 plus 3 that is 5 and sign of plus will be there so here's your answer plus 5a plus 13b now what you have learned when you are adding two binomial expression and your answer will also be in the binomial expression right now students let's take another example to understand this question in a better way here I have taken again two binomial expressions, right? Here you can see first expression as 10 m square plus 2 n square. And second expression will be 3 m square minus 7 n square, right? Now here we will start our question by writing first expression. Which is the first expression? This one. This is your first expression. 10 m square plus 2 n square. And next we will see which is the term of the same variable that is m square now here 3 m square is there you can see here 3 m square you will just write this term just exactly below 10 m square because both these are like terms right next we will write n square term 
So here is the n square term that is minus 7 n square. You will write just below plus 2 n square because both these are of variable n square and all these are like term, right? Now the question is how we will solve them. Again, we will follow the same pattern. Now here you can see that plus 2 minus 7. Now you will write, you will take a partition here, right? By taking a partition line, you will write here plus 2 minus 7. When you will apply integer rule here, what you will get plus 2 minus 7. That means plus minus sign of bigger term subtract the number. So here you will have bigger term is minus 7. So you will take minus sign here and plus minus sign of bigger term subtract the number. So you will subtract them. So by subtracting you will get here minus 5. So here you will write here minus 5 n square, right? And similarly, you will solve the next term. In the next term, you can see here plus 10 plus 3, right? So you will add them. You will get here plus plus sign of plus. Add the number 10 plus 3 means 13. So here you will write here plus 13, right? So here your answer is plus 13 n square minus 5 n square. Now again what we have learned by adding two binomial expression we will get again a binomial expression in the answer. Now let's take one more example. Here I have taken two these two expression that is 6mn minus 4n and 10n plus 2mn right. So here the variables are in mn and n right. Here you can see both these expressions right. So we will start this by uh, for solving this what will you do firstly you will write the first expression and secondly you write the second expression now here you can see that first term in this expression is 10 n right and the second term is plus 2 m n so here 10 n so where is the 10 n in the first expression 10 n is here n term is here so you will write 10 n just under this term that is minus 4n. So here you will write plus 10 and why plus because no sign with this term, right? 10n is alone. With 10 and no sign is there. So whenever where no sign is there with any term, so you will apply their plus sign, right? So you will put their plus sign. Now here I have written plus 10n. Now what is left? That is plus 2mn. So plus 2mn is there. So what will you do? You will write 2mn just under below 6mn. Exactly below 6mn. Why? Because both these are the same term or the like term you can see. Right? With the same variable that is mn. So, now we will start solving it. So, here that is minus 4 and plus 10. So, how you will add them? Minus 4 plus 10 that is plus minus sign of bigger term subtract the number so you will have plus 6 right. So you will write your answer here plus 6n. Next you will have plus 6 plus 2. Now here you can see that with 6 no sign was there so I have put there plus sign and again here with 2 was plus sign. So I have written here again plus sign that is plus 6 plus 2. So here plus 6 plus 2 means what? Here it means plus plus sign of plus add the number. So you will add them. So you will get here plus 8, right? So here you will write the answer of question that is plus 8 mn plus 6 n. Again, by adding two binomial expression, we are getting the answer in binomial expression again. Now student, we will take another example. So here you can see that I have taken this expression. That is 4ab square plus 4a and 7ab square. Now you will think that here this expression is of binomial term and here this is binomial, right? This is monomial, right? Monomial means one term, binomial means two term. Now what if we have to add these two terms, two expression? Here there are two terms that mean binomial. If What if we are adding binomial and monomial? So, nothing to worry, we can add them in the same way that we have just done the last two or three examples. So, we will follow the same pattern. So, first of all, we will write here the first expression that is 4ab square plus 4a. 
Now the next is, now here, which expression is this? This is monomial expression. Also, we can say that this is monomial term, right? So here, 7ab square is there. So where we will write 7ab square? Just below 4ab square because both these are the like term. Same term with the same variable that is ab square. Now here 4a is alone with 7ab square. No term is there with any sign. So what we will do here one term is missing in this expression. So what we will do whenever any term is missing in any expression. So we will put here 0a. Why I am putting here a? Why I am writing here a? Because here a term is missing. The term with the variable a is missing, right? So here this term was missing. So that's why I have written here 0a, right? So we will start solving them again with the same pattern. So we will write here 4 plus 4 plus 0. So what we will write here plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 and 0 means 4, right? So here plus 4 plus 0 means plus 4. So you will write here plus 4a, right? So next is plus 4 plus 7. So here you will write plus 4 plus 7 is equals to plus 7 plus 11. Why plus 11? Because plus plus sign of plus add the number that is 4 plus 7 is equals to plus 11. So here you will write your answer as plus 11 ab square. Right? Now we will take one more example to understand this question in a better way. Now here you can see that I have taken here first expression as monomial expression and the second as binomial, right? Now how to solve, how to add both these expression in the same way that we have just done this example, right? So first of all, I, have, I will write here x, y. Now we will move to the next, next expression that is 9xy minus 4zx. So 9xy you will just write below xy that is here 9xy and further you will write minus 4zx because this is binomial term, binomial expression. So you will write here as it is, right? So here you can see that here this term was missing. This is zx variable. So you will write here zx along with numerical coefficient as 0. Right? So here you will write plus 0zx and here below plus 0zx you will write your minus 4zx. Right? Now we will start solving them again. 0 and minus 4 plus 0 minus 4 means plus minus sign of bigger term. Subtract the number so you will have minus 4 here. Right? Next plus, na plus 1 plus 9 that is plus 10. Right? Plus plus sign of plus add the number so you will have 10. So here you will write your answer plus 10xy minus 4zx, right? So students, now I hope you all of you have understood all these questions. Now you all are able to do the related homework that have been already sent to you in your SNAP homework. But before starting your homework students, please go through the YouTube links that we are sending you because all these links are very helpful to you for solving these type of questions. Thank you.